you're going to keep me supplied. Got it? Hey, I got a pressure in here. Now you listen to me. If you don't keep me supplied, I'm going to break every bone in your miserable body. See, the Blood Freak, Freak horrifying addicted monster, monster who stirs for an addict's blood will lead you to a horror beyond belief. Blood, blood Freak, Freak, to survive, addicts, addicts must, must die. die. See Blood Freak's horrifying revenge for the woman he loves. John Randall, consumer protection expert to the stars, will be coming up in the next hour of the Writer's Digest. Here's to the new sound. John reports that you could be paying too much for home mortgages, and it will really pay you to shop around. Well, the weatherman is calling for partly cloudy skies today with an inland high of 69, the Civic Center high of 60, and beaches 55. Currently at Broadcast Center, it's 40. Hey, you want a beer? Ah! Hey! Ah! 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 Thank you! news, I think I'll call my wife. She has invited 50 people to Thanksgiving dinner. They all want drumsticks. That's ridiculous. 25 dirt people all running around the house on treasures. It's 7 a.m. in Los Angeles, and our top story continues to be the intensive police dragnet for an armed and dangerous escaped mental patient. 26-year-old Jay Jones escaped from the Hobart State Hospital for the criminally insane last night after killing an attendant and leaving a guard in critical condition. Jones was committed to Hobart eight years ago after a lengthy and well-publicized trial following the bludgeoning death of both of his parents. We talked with a state police department spokesman shortly after Jones's escape last night. He's extremely dangerous and probably armed, and he could be on PCP. Jones is Caucasian, six feet three, 220 pounds with curly brown hair. If you see anyone answering this description, stay clear of him. 
and notify your local law enforcement agency immediately. Again, police are asking for your cooperation in that reaction. Smog, clean air. <laughs> What's next? Nothing but nice people, good food, and a great time. Mm -hmm. Bradley will take some getting used to. He's really a nice guy. I'm just a little nervous. Mm. Came close to going off the deep end when his record company went under. Oh, my. But you'll like him. Mm. And I think you'll find his son quite amusing, or at least different. Well... I told you to shut that damn thing off! I'm gonna kill you! Come back here! Stake! Come out of there! I'm telling you, come on out of there! It is different. It's beautiful. Very. Well, here we are. I can promise you an interesting evening at least. And maybe sometime we'll even have a little time alone together. Oh, shut up. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, I need a beer. Dinner's almost ready. Uh -huh. Not interested in how the master chefs are doing? Infinitely. My kid, he's driving me to drink. Perhaps to drugs. <laughs> Mistakes got you again, huh? Yeah, I think you're just too hard on him. Oh, yeah? Mm. I think I need a Valium. Ah, you don't need a beer. I don't? No. Huh? You don't need a Valium. Huh? No, no, no. What do I need? You need to relax. Huh? Oh, yes. You mean don't relax? Okay. Just
<laughs> well, just what's in that space to your little head of yours. so good. Jesus, you're so horny. <laughs> Charming. Just charming. day. Two for the price of one. I've got you now. Scott. You! Will you get the hell out of here? Mistake. This is your last time. Uh-oh, I think a complication is developing. You get a rain check. This time he dies, I promise you he dies! Hi, cutie. Hello. Oh, so this is Jennifer. How come you didn't come around before? An exposure to that? Rock and roll forever. I'm gonna wreck that car on your head until you're dead. Maybe she'll be successful. Can I take this? Ooh, let's get it on, baby. The show's yours. Why don't you introduce your friend? Quietly. Don't give up your day job, honey. Bradley, she's hot. Really hot. A jalapeno. I can't take it. I can't take him anymore. He's gotta go. 
really definitely bury yep. him mm -hmm. deep i'm gonna kill myself <sighs> make that a double valium what's the matter the kid getting on your nerves maybe i can slip some arsenic in his suit hi i'm gail hello nice to meet you i'm gonna get my baby something to drink what would you like sweet face hmm? I hope it's not wine, because someone I know forgot to pick it up at the store this morning. Oh, damn! Just what I need to top off a perfect day. Well, well I guess I've got time to make to the store. Bradley, darling, give me the keys to your car. Sure. The battery's on the blink, but uh, it might be all right. Well, here, take mine. It's on the other side of the garage. Thanks, Scott. Sure. Wait, I'll go with you. Bradley, darling, while we're gone, why don't you put some peas on the stove? Is that all you want me for? Is this my keys? <laughs> Will someone please go change it for me? Come on, I gotta go get my purse. Peas. Angel. Angel, Angel, the prettiest girl. Listen, do you know where the peas are? You do? You do? I gotta go find them. I'm gonna go look. Where? Where are those peas? Where did your boyfriend get a son like that? I don't know, but uh, I tell you, when I get my hands on that little twit, I'm going to murder him. I don't him. blame him. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. I, hey, I could use a Valium. This... Is this Gus's car? Ooh, hey, hey, hot, hot car. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Well, white, too. Oh, but you white know, white. I still can't believe I forgot that dumb one. <laughs> <laughs> This road is really a bumpy road. I thing. love it. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah, maybe we can find some guys to make up for the I'm afternoon sure. that I'm, I blew. I'm <laughs> sure we can do. Yeah. Oh. But who cares? It gives me a chance to get out of that nut house. Yeah, well, maybe my subconscious is working to save my sanity. Wonderful. Anything I can do to help? Help? Yeah. Here. Make a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Is your friend here, honey? What's his name? Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann. I can never find where this chick keeps anything. Where are the peas? <laughs> I'm not talking to you, babe. No, listen, just give me what you got on St. Louis. I think I need a girl. Oh, get me one, too, will you? How about you? Do you know? Uh, 
She won't drink anything. She hates to go to the bathroom. One knows die in tus brazos. Quiero morir. Power's always going off around here. Some drunk probably hit a power pole. Maybe it's just temporary. I hate to bust your bubble, but when it goes out, it usually goes out for about eh, three or four hours. Three to four hours? It's okay, though. I got an emergency generator outside. Great. I gotta watch that game. I got a big bet on it. Yeah. Well, I gotta tell you, man. What's gonna happen is that it'll get us lights, but it won't get us a television set. I don't believe this. I got too much on this game to miss it. Wayne, you are a mercenary person. Listen, I'm going to go out and check on the generator and see if we've got any juice in it. Will you guys uh, please watch out for a little angel in there? We'll be right back. I'll sure, right. don't worry about her. Beautiful girl? No, never. <laughs> you stay where you are. Hurry up, huh, Brad? We got some business to discuss. No, uh, stop it.
Wow! Touch the woman I love. Oh, man. Give us a break, please. Can't you leave us alone? Yeah, I can get into that. <laughs> I don't believe he's actually leaving us alone. <laughs> Not so long. Let's you and I make music together. Want something a little stronger than beer? Yeah, 357 Magnum. Y otro para mí. Es la margarita, ¿no? Oh. Ay, qué rico. Goodbye. pair of shoes and settle for a battery. I love you too. More than your guitar? Yeah, more than my guitar. More than anything. later. So long. Oops, welcome back. Oh, it's gone. Watch. Magic dust. Look. More dust.
I can't believe we're lost. Well, I haven't driven out around here much at night. Why does Bradley live out here in the sticks? I don't know, but it sure is spooky. Well, so now what are we going to do? Why don't you get the map out? Is there one in here? Can you turn on the dome light, please? Sure. You sure you remember where Bradley lives? Yeah. Where did you find him? I don't know. Well, we could even get a hold of him to find out what kind of wine they want. I wonder what's wrong with those stupid phones. Hey, that was strange. The phones being out of order? Hey, it's going along with the rest of our day. It's definitely, definitely bad karma. Does he use that for an excuse very often? Yeah, as a matter of fact, he has. Here, let me look at that. Go straight down here. We'll hang a right. That looks familiar. Come on, let's go for it. I hope so. I'll get the cab down. All right, we may need it. Bradley's been gone more than an hour. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the game, and I'm starved. How about an hors d'oeuvre? Maria, votre mas. Don't be too bashful with those hors d'oeuvres. Dinner's gonna have to wait until the others get back. I don't believe Bradley's not back yet. Well, you know, Bradley's been having a little trouble with his battery. I wouldn't be at all surprised if he stopped to replace it up at the gas station. Better check that out. Where is that gas station? About five miles from here. Hillside Drive. I'll give him a call and see if he's still there, right? Has anyone seen Angel and her brother? Please, don't bring his name up again. Explains why we haven't heard from Bradley. Linda and Gail should be back by now, though. Damn it! I forgot to tell them about my gas gauge. I bet they've run out of gas. Please! I came here to discuss business! Well, I'm not gonna sit around here any longer. Scott, you and I will go find them. Now, you go ahead. I'm gonna stay here with the troops. I don't want to leave them here without a man around. Okay, Marie, you stay here. On the bus. Kind of day. I'll be back in 15 minutes. That's what they all said. Are you sure you don't have problems with your car, too? It may be a gas guzzler, but it runs like a top. And get the food on the table. When I get back, we'll eat. Just lovely. <coughs> Wish I could find a way to quit smoking. Just gonna have a nice little quiet evening in the country. Gonna end up in a loony bin if I keep this. chance to come up and see my apartment. We can't leave now. Why not? Wayne won't be back for a while. <laughs> oh, my lovely lady. 
There's only some way I could tell you how I feel about you. Como? Maria will keep the kid busy. Como? Angel's asleep. All right. Tell you you look beautiful tonight? I don't feel it, but it's nice to hear. You really do. Thank you. Let's take the break upstairs. Sounds good to me. <laughs> you know, we're gonna have a really nice weekend together, just you and me. And the Bobsy twins, Ringling Brothers, and Barnum and Bailey. <laughs> anyway, it's different. <laughs> this is it. So what do you think, huh? So do I. We've got everything we need. Kitchen back there? I can make you breakfast in the morning. Bathroom over here. How about a bubble bath? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and over here, we've got the bedroom. Let's go look at the moonlight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is beautiful, Scott. So is this right here. How did you get hooked up with this crazy bunch? I needed an apartment. What do you say? Will we get back to unfinished business. <laughs> <laughs> What do we tell the storm crew? How about two buggies and a shake? Oh, very hey, let's, let's go, okay? I don't need a chicken. Uh, Hi. Hi. Yes, sir. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, you're in uh, direct violation of Section 22350 of the California Vehicle Code. What's that? Well, uh, speeding. 55 in a 35 mile an hour zone. Well, no, you girls haven't been drinking tonight, have you? Oh, no. No, we just bought these at the store. See, they're still unopened. Yeah, in fact, we're lost. Um, Where are you headed? Well, do you know Harold Bradley? He owns some big ranch somewhere around here. I think we're close, but... No, I uh, don't, but can't you call him? Oh, no, the phones are out. Can yeah. I see your driver's license? Uh, all right, it's, it's right here somewhere. You, you're not really going to give me a ticket, are you? Well, I really hate to, but you know, uh, speeding isn't safe. You know, it's dangerous out here. Yeah. I'd hate to see uh, you two pretty girls uh, get an accident out here. You ever seen a head-on collision? Oh, oh, no, no, no. It's not a pretty sight. Um, well, you, you just wouldn't believe what I've been through today. And, and gee, if, if, if I get a ticket tonight, I'll just die. Can't you guys go easy on her? She really has had a tough day. I, I really think a warning would be sufficient, Jim. Okay, partner. I think we can uh, give him a warning this time. Oh, great. Hey, listen, but slow down out here. It's uh, it's really dangerous out here. Okay. I promise. Promise. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, I appreciate it. All right. See you later. Oh, Bye -bye. I hope so. Bye. 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 Oh, would I like to get into that tonight? Would you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, if they finish uh, drinking that wine, and we stay out here all night. Our lucky night. Yeah. Did you see the chick with the big bazoons? Yeah, I was closer. <laughs> hey, let's get in the car and get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Did you see those two cuties? The dynamic duo went again. Uh, thank oh, you, Kelly, right. ma'am. They came in handy, huh? Yeah, they sure did. Wow. Oh, okay. now what? I hope there's some turkey left. <sighs> Me too. I'm starving. Oh, no. We didn't run out of gas, did we? I don't know if it's that or the battery. Oh. <sighs> it's 
been one of those days, Kim. Hey, kid. I hope you got your hiking shoes. I think we better walk the rest of the way. We're, this thing isn't going to start. We're going to walk back to Bradley's ranch. You got any better ideas? Do you know which way to go? I think we go that way. Come on, let's get started, or else there won't be any food left. Oh, boy. Don't forget the wine. I got the wine. I just got my leg. At last, we get to make music together, senorita. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, let's make up a song, you and I. Hmm? Amor de mi vida. Amor de mi vida. Oh, Te quiero beautiful. tanto. Te quiero tanto. Shouldn't we go downstairs and check on the others? No. Well, maybe we should. Mistake's probably giving Maria all she can handle. Wayne should be back with Bradley by now. Yeah. You know, this is going to be a wonderful weekend. That little craziness never hurt anyone. But I tell you, I wish those cute cops would come by and pick us up now. Oh, right now. Take us into seductive custody. I am frozen. Uh, I bet that, you know, I bet the one with the flashlight. You, you like him? Oh. He's so oh, oh, but I Bradley like looks him. better than that. Oh, come on. Anything is better than Bradley. Hey, you two lovebirds. You didn't have to hurry on account of me. Are any of the others back yet? No, they decided to leave us kids at home and go out and get drunk. Is Angel asleep? I don't know. We'll go check. Yeah, I'll touch. So where were we, Senorita? Yeah. Oh, my God. Angel? Angel? Angel, honey? spend a weekend at your boyfriend's place. Honey, I'm asking for hazardous duty pay. Yeah, well, at least we found this in this place. I don't believe he lives out here in the sticks. And my feet hurt. Are you Ooh. sure this is Bradley's place? I'm positive. Trust me. Oh, it looks awful ominous. <laughs> Didn't look this bad in the daylight driving in. Well. Oh. Ah. I am starving. Oh, I could eat a horse. Whose car is this? You know what it's doing parked up here. I right know. I think it's Wayne's car. Uh, Did you hear something? Uh, Wayne? Uh, 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 hey, you wouldn't believe what uh, we've been through tonight. Uh, Who is it?
Would you like some peas? No peas. No peas, no dessert. <coughs> I'm going to have some. some bar watching the football game. But Linda and Gail, them I am worried about. They got my car. <laughs> my lady? Would you care for some potatoes, Fantasia? I actually want one too. With a little butter and herbs. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, yummy. Enjoy it. Oh, how about a yummy yam? Would you like one? Mm -hmm. And to touch it off, some rosy red raspberry Ay, rico. cranberry sauce. I see. Ay, Dios mío! Bruno! Oh, I'm sorry. Please. Oh, no, I'll make Mistake. it up. I don't think it's not like that. that. It's stupid. Take her to the bathroom and wash that stuff off. Give her one of your t-shirts. Come on, we'll go to my bathroom and you can clean up, please. <laughs> she is so loud and I don't believe it. I'm so sorry, Marie. Please forgive me. Oh, no, no. Look, 
please, don't worry about a thing. I'll buy you a new shirt. Qué bruto! I got even a better idea. Come into my bedroom. No, and quiero I'll ir al baño. Pretty shirt. Sure. El baño. Oh, the bathroom. Here. Mm-hmm. And don't worry, because Bradley will take care of the women. I'm gonna find you the, the best shirt I have. No, that's not it. I have a really nice one here just for you. Oh gosh, that belongs to my own girlfriend. Stupid. Neil. Please take me instead. Don't hurt her, please. Look, I'll, I'll play my guitar for you. I'll, I'll sing. I'll, I'll do some magic. Please, mister. Please. Wait. Please. Mister, you don't know what you're doing. Please. Oh, oh my God. Please. Please let her go. Please. Let her go. God, please take me instead. Please don't hurt her. Please. Listen, man. Listen to me. <laughs> Women are no good. <laughs> Only cause your problems, man. <laughs> My mother was no good like that. Crazy. No, please.
probably amusing her with his tricks. Well, don't just stand there. Go get the firewood and I'll put Angel to bed. Okay, okay. Look, her room's right down there at the end of the hall. On the right. Okay. Now get going. Angel. 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 Wake up. It's time to go to bed. Do you have to go to the bathroom? I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, let's get your pajamas on first, sweetheart. Come on. I'll be right back. going on around here? He's a psycho. What else is there? No, you don't understand. He's killed Maria. Oh, my God. If he's gone off the deep end, make him after us. Baby, we're in trouble. What are we going to do? Lock all the doors and stay close to Angel. The kid can't take all three of us on at once. God, you know, the kid seemed a little weird, but he didn't seem crazy. I got that. Sweetheart, Jennifer's gonna take you inside. Look, if you, anything seems strange, you call me. I'm gonna okay. start locking the doors and the windows. Okay. okay. Everything's okay. Come on.
scared. Honey, I'm right outside the door. What's that for? In case we have to defend ourselves. Where's Angel? Oh, she's in the dining room by the fireplace. Scott. We'll go back in the dining room. The fire will be our light. He's out there. It's going to be all right. I mean it. Angel? Angel, honey, stay by the fire. We'll be right in. Keep yourself together. We'll be okay. I'll try. Trust me. Jennifer, I never knew you'd make such a good mother. Neither did I, but I feel so natural to care for a child. You two stay here. I want to go check this room. into the pantry. Try to find some candles. Don't be gone long. Just stay where you are. Everything will be all right. candles, but I checked the kitchen door. I think we're okay. I just wish that generator could have held out a little longer. What could have happened to the others? Why haven't they returned? I'm sorry I got you into this. I'll be okay.
was that? I don't know. But I forgot something. There's a door back there. It's always locked. Bradley never uses it, but I'll go check. Don't leave me here alone. It's okay. I'm sure it's nothing but the creaks of an old house. But I'll feel better once I know it's locked. gone forever. It's all right now. All right, sweetheart. We're perfectly safe. If Mistake killed Maria, I'm sure he's still running. In the morning, we'll talk to the police and the whole thing will be over. I know. But what if he didn't kill her? What if there's somebody else running around out there? Well, who else could even find this place? Remember, the power's been off seven hours. I know, but the mistake just didn't seem as though he could hurt a fly. Well, he was trying to make it with an older woman. Maybe he got frustrated. Mm. Maybe it was an accident, too. I don't know. I just wish someone would get back here with my car. I want to get away from this place. Oh, me too. Oh, me too. I have to go to the bathroom. I'm not leaving this fire. Honey, you just went to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. It's okay, sweetheart. I'll take you. But it's dark down there. You sure you won't be scared? So much for trying to talk her out of it. Take her, but don't spend the night there. I'm going to get up and stoke the fire. A little more light couldn't hurt. You're too good. Sweetheart, now just hold on to my hand and everything will be okay. It'll be a little dark, but if you just hold on, hold on tight. But it's okay, we'll be okay. Sweetheart, do you want to just hold on and we'll just walk over here? It's okay. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
Let's go. Let's get out of here. Snap out of it. Come on. Come on. Tom, you better load that thing up. Yeah, you got that right.
thing loaded. I hope so. Let's go do it. <laughs> Freeze, police officer. Drop the knife. Drop it. Drop it. Car 64, emergency. Yeah, hey, we got a multiple homicide up here on a ranch on Hillside Drive. We got one survivor that needs medical attention. We found a little girl wandering on the highway. We found a gas station attendant who knew where she lived. When we got up here, we had to shoot the suspect. 13 42, 13 42, back up to 13 43. Listen, tell the coroner's office. They better come prepared. There's probably bodies strewn all over this place. Hey, partner, what do you got? I'm so happy to see you. Oh, you're right. hell's been going on around here. I hope you call the corner. Hey, he's on the way. We got some backup units on the way. We're gonna have to comb every inch of this place. Why don't you stay with this guy? I'm going back to the car.
uh, thank you ever so much for watching another fine late night feature. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. Right, Lightning? Oh, sure, Lightning enjoyed showing it to you, too. <laughs> That's it for me, Joe Bob Briggs, reminding you that in any organization, there is always one person who knows what's going on. That person must be fired. You didn't like that one? Did you guys hear about the two blondes who were working on a house? And uh, one blonde is nailing up siding, and she reaches into her nail pouch, and she pulls out a nail, and sometimes she uses the nail, and the other times she just tosses the nails over her shoulder. And so the other blonde notices what she's doing, so she asks, why are you throwing those nails away? And the first blonde says, well, if I pull out a nail and it's pointed towards me, then I throw it away because it's defective. But if it's pointed toward the house, then I nail it in. And the second blonde yells at her, you moron, the nails pointed towards you aren't defective. They're for the other side of the house. Oh. Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. A blonde finds out that her husband is having an affair. So she goes to a gun shop and buys a handgun. Next day she comes home, she finds her husband in bed with a beautiful redhead. Well, the blonde is so distraught that she takes the gun and she puts it up to her own head. And the husband begs and pleads with her not to shoot herself. And the blonde says, shut up, you're next. Oh.